hello guys welcome to millsoft tutorial so today i am going to demonstrate you easy jms to sftp integration in the general life we basically mainly we can have this type of the integration in real life as well we are consuming a message from the messaging system jms but we have to store the transformed output into the sftp server so we can use a mule very easy it can transform and it can easily store the JMS to SFTP so let's go ahead and create an integration project here create one simple application mail for JMS to SFTP click on finish very good so now we will go ahead and we can use the JMS on the JMS we can use on new messages let's deploy let's create the connector configuration here again we will use this simple activemq client here so here we don't need to add anything just we need to click here configure and it will use the recommended one that's far than more than enough for us now we need to define the username and password for activemq server so, so default id and we need to configure here the host url so we will use the edit in line and here we need to use instead of the local I mean not inbuilt we need to use the TCP one so we can use the TCP TCP colon local host and we don't need to define anything else just we can keep at a default value so we have to just click on ok now we will click here we will define the destination source here just give the name source and select consumer time as a queue consumer and I will give select acknowledgement mode as manual because I want to make sure my password persisted into the SFTP sorry I have to be here so this acknowledgement on manual ok and that's it ok so now we will go ahead and log here we can define here request received from user and we can use something like uh, we can define here this something like we can print here payload okay now we will we need to store into the sftp so let's drag and drop and we can do something right we will create here connector configuration for sftp we will just come here we can define here local host as I have installed the open SSH in my window system I will define here toast that's it okay so now I need to define a body here no, I mean here output directory so I'm going to use this this will be the transformed output and let me refresh here no five days here 
So I will define here just I have to leave this. Okay, I will keep everything is same. Create parent defer directory. I don't need to, so you can make it as a false and okay. Right mode, yeah, override yes. So basically, like the, I want to override, but if you don't, then every time you can get the new or append. You can choose depends on your need. Here I have defined only the path, but I have to define the file name as well. So this is my path output directory and let's use something like the dynamic name which we can identify so let's use the i will use the akid message id is too big so i will use the akid and define here as dot txt so let's go ahead and start the application now Your application application started but I missed to add the acknowledgement because I have the receiving the message consuming the message with the manual acknowledgement mode so I have to this is a manual acknowledgement mode so I have to acknowledge here so I will provide your acknowledgement ID here attributes dot Let's wait for the redeployment. Okay, application redeployed. So let's go ahead and send one message here. So let's refresh this. We got one message here at the source. So let's send message. Transform. Hello, just give me a welcome message. We will publish your message. So we can see that message got published, and we can also see. Let's go ahead and yeah one file got published here and let me check the output we pa we pass this so we got this output okay let's publish one more message onto the active mq we can try to publish the same message here we see we process the message and this is the payload which we are getting from the user and we can go and the effective way we can refresh and we can see the transport output like the transformed output so this is the very easy integration from the JMS to SFTP same thing we can do the integration of the any other transport as well including the if we have any HTTP post or something notification if you want to send any other broker then we can also do that similarly if you want to send on to the JMS itself so instead of the SFTP you can use the JMS out like the JMS publish so that will publish the message so that's integration works very easily with the mail software so i'm going to upload this sample project at github repository so if you want you can clone this project and you can try thanks for your time guys